I'm going to start the recording. Got to fill some hard drives. Right on. Greetings and welcome to Die Dragon Die presents the Grimstone Chronicles Season 2, Episode 34. I have yanked the DM stick back from Mark. Uh, after he scared us with a bunch of horrible enemies. <laughs> Yay! Never, <laughs> never again. Mark sort of dropped on the mic, dropped it as he went, like, right. it's like, oh, I guess he, I... He, he took it for me and went, no, 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 no. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, I am your DM and host, Marty, joined by the full Ontario crew, one of which is in person. Yay! Next weekend, we will have uh, two out of the three players in person, which is uh, pretty damn cool. Cool. Um, yeah, uh, starting to get settled here in Canada, and uh, we will try probably next week to stream to see how the uh, the internet uh, upload speeds are. But for tonight's game, we will uh, we will uh, record it and then post it to YouTube, and I will um, let everyone know when it's posted on Discord and Twitter. How is everyone doing tonight on this fine Saturday evening? I'm good. It's weird. It's weird starting game at like seven, six, seven o'clock at night. Yeah, I guess you're used to. I'm used to yeah, three, man. I, I get, I get out of bed. I get some lunch. I do a little, little bit around the apartment, and then it's game time. <laughs> 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 it felt like forever waiting. Up, waiting today. Got up at ten. Had some breakfast, yeah. and then started doing prep. And then fiddled around the house and did a bit more prep and then watched an hour TV and then caught a nap and then got up <laughs> and then Mark still wasn't here. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. You wouldn't have time to do your fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No fun there. <laughs> we do have a new lawnmower. It is a self propelled gas lawnmower pull start. We didn't want to spend lots of money on it, but it is the right tool for the job. And that's all I want to talk about yard work. Perfect. Yes. Colors are the right tool for the job. Uh, yeah, so, uh, the um, this week was interesting in my neighborhood. Uh, they um, they're installing fiber in our in my neighborhood. I use a different company, so I don't care about fiber. But they cut my internet in the middle of a work day. Oops! Just punched a hole right through the cable, and then you call them, and they're like. What seems to be the, well, there seems to be a disruption in your neighborhood. I'm like, yeah, but this isn't a disruption. This is it's gone. <laughs> There's no signal anymore. <laughs> There's also a two foot by two foot by eight foot deep hole in my fucking driveway. <laughs> so <laughs> um, this might have something to do with it. Uh, so they they got that fixed. Um, then the next day. Uh, starting at a very early hour, the the city set, brought in tree people to um, cut down some trees. Now, my morning being like chainsaws and tree grinders and this sort of thing, less less good. My evening going through the rubble and going like, ooh, I like this log. Ooh, I like this log. Ooh, this looks good to me. That was a lot better. So I, I, I did pick up a couple of... Uh, rather heavy pieces of wood to add to my collection of large random objects to practice moving around. And I think I'm going to craft one of them into a, uh, uh, a lady's log for Jessica so she can learn how to, how to lift because she wants to do one herself, but she can't do my log. It's too big. Do you have so craft weights? But pretty much. It's going to be craft weight. Yeah, I'm going to take a couple weights and craft. And craft I think Adam weight. will just make an int check with some plus two tools. And well, <laughs> so it's like, what are you going to use? I'm going to go get myself a chisel and a hammer and a fucking drill bit, and we'll we'll figure it out. <laughs> I need two holes for hands, and I need a stick that goes through that you hold on to. <laughs> we can do this. <laughs> uh, we got some handles for drawers from home hardware and just drill them in a <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Just make about sure you lift it over your head. That are mass, that sort of thing. Don't worry about that part. Just get really strong wrists. Uh, so it's good it was, duct tape to hold together fun, but the uh, wood needs to dry out which is a thing so it's like this is the ladies log when it's done it should weigh about 90 pounds it currently weighs 240 it needs the water to go away <laughs> so, so it's, it's currently it's, it's going it will be a ladies log but right now it's like a full-size man's log just in terms of how heavy it is but, so you just stole logs 
off of her. <laughs> I would you, drag them you, into, you, your, into your yard. This I would just like. Point. I, I picked them up and I walked away with them. That's uh, you, you guys. <laughs> You guys remember Commando, right? Like, yeah, like one of Schwarzenegger's in the beginning when he's got like a tree over his shoulder, just walking through the forest. Like, I would just like to point out as, the number of poop jokes I haven't made during this vlog. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of giggling at the beginning too. It was like, keep it together. <laughs> so that was effectively that Commando scene was how I did it, except it was really heavy. So it was like. It had to the same thing, but with the poop face, like the whole like concentration. Because <laughs> yeah, it was, <laughs> yeah, it was I, one of those things where it's like I could, I have one good pick and one good carry with that level of weight. If I fuck it up, like I have, have to rest. It's like no, I have to rest for like fifteen minutes, like to, to re-shoulder the damn thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew what you were talking about because I I caught a glimpse of a couple of photos that Jessica pasted on uh, Facebook. I I just was scrolling. And I saw okay. Adam <laughs> moving big Adam. ass logs, and now it makes sense now. <laughs> I'm like, Adam pulling the trees out of the forest. <laughs> I'm like, he, he didn't cut those down himself, so he just wandered onto. I thought it was a park. He wandered was, into some park and like started so, moving logs so around. They, they cut down some of the trees. Uh, so the trees in my neighborhood are all towards the end of their life, and a few of them have fallen over. So they've been cutting down the trees that are falling over, and it was a city crew that did it. And I went like said, does anybody does anybody own those? And no, they're waiting for the crew to come pick them up. So it's like, all right then. So it's you know the garbage fairies. I could be a garbage fairy too. You know, just the really really heavy stuff. <laughs> this, this one looks real big. I like this one. Nice. Well, there was one there that was like from a distance. It's like that looks perfect. And then you get up close, it's like there's no fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> <goddamn tree. laughs> uh, I was able to roll it just as a thing, like just as a. In fact, I, I cut myself doing it, but uh, I, I cut myself rolling it. Just how do you I roll could. things? <laughs> I use my hands. <laughs> uh, the biceps. <laughs> uh, wrap your arms around and twist. Uh, that's about like. The, the, by the diameter, it's like if that was the bottom, that would be around the. the... Mm. <laughs> Ame, what's going on in your universe? Kids finish school. You're in now, right now, right? Now I don't have to uh, babysit them during the day anymore. They just nag me for things to do. It's great. <laughs> so is it more work or less work? I haven't decided yet. Ah, oh, okay. My, my, my wife used to do something to my kids, but they came up and said, we're bored. And she did, all right. Clean the bathroom. Yeah, clean the bathroom. <laughs> I've used that. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's less stressed, but it's like, Dad, what are we doing today? Like, I don't know. How about I finish work first, and then, then we'll figure that shit out. <laughs> so, yeah. It's only, been, it's only been two days, so it's great so far. Okay. <laughs> so you, you haven't run out of ideas for them to go do things? When they come no, 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 no. We're imaginative. We, 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 have, we have fun. It's just uh, when it starts at like 9 in the morning. <laughs> so, what are we doing today? I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Here we go again. I was a nerd who came from a nerd family full of nerds. Farmer nerds. Um, so it was like, do chores. And then you get like your textbooks. These are your summer textbooks, which are like workbooks that you they get for like homeschool kids. Yeah. It's like if you ever were like, no, 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 did you do the thing? Did you do the did you do the, the like the two hundred? Yeah. Of, we like, have uh, we have books for them for like their next grade. So we're going to be going through them through the summer, so they don't, their brains don't rot. Oh, something interesting. Uh, there's a family of skunks living in my backyard now. Oh. Like a mama skunk with three little. You, you don't still have cats, right? Sorry? You don't still have cats in the backyard? No, 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 no. That was, that was, I was, yeah. Okay. That, was no, that was a while ago. So okay. so these are not really a problem. I was like, eh, not bothering us. We don't go out in the night. So have at her. Are they cute? Yeah. They're, they're very cute. They're yeah. very cute. They don't smell cute. Through a window. Yeah, until one of your kids gets sprayed. Uh, They, yeah, no, I've showed them how to and exit the house to the backyard to make enough noise so that they run away and so skunks usually don't want to spray if they only if they have to we're gonna have a story about the skunks moved on or one of the kids or we moved back. or we left <laughs> or we left 
Sorry, guys, I can't game. Why? <laughs> I'm bathing one of my kids in tomato juice. <laughs> <laughs> Or whatever yeah. you Hopefully use. that doesn't happen. <laughs> no, but I've showed them how to behave around them so that they, they don't, don't get sprayed. sprayed so should, should be, be good. good. My dogs don't know how to not get sprayed. I tell you that much. I'm hoping the level of intelligence I'm working with here is a little higher. <laughs> doesn't work. Say get up, get get off my lawn, real loud. That doesn't work. <laughs> I have to admit, Adam, when you said you come from a family of farmer nerds. I pictured two farmers in the field, Bale and Hagor. How dare you say Star Trek is superior to Star Wars? <laughs> 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 oh, Even though I'm, I'm fully muted. aware that's that that not, not present where you're from. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they have their own version of backwater, oh. backwater farming uh, uh, accent. So it's yeah, it, it, goon. Uh, in the movie Goon, the 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 Regina guy. That would be the it's, it's, it's the it's the Regina guy from the movie Goon. It's like the generic one, and then a little bit of the Alberta guy. But okay. the movie Goon's amazing for regional accents. Nice. Mark, what up? Uh, I'm good. Yep. Mark. I really have nothing to say beyond been playing a shitload of Pathfinder Kingmaker. He's got two games going. It's yeah. far in one game, and then goes back and plays the evil party and gets them. Uh, I play awesome. the good party first. I feel the character is superior, but because I'm playing the evil guys the second playthrough, it's like, well, naturally things are going a bit more smooth because I know what I'm doing now. Right. I've made the mistake. You're going to optimize your paths and yeah. what feats to take and not. And then there's some cases where it's like, well, I'm just doing this. I know it's a bad idea, but it's evil, and this is the evil game. Yeah. Yes, let the Chalaxian Inquisitors interrogate the subject. What could go wrong? <laughs> they couldn't possibly not like this. Oh, it's an annoying side plot where it's like, oh, can it end now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're still there beating your subjects. <laughs> it's like, how oh, can I stop it? I want the I want the the dialogue that says stop. stop. <laughs> <laughs> Another month of unrest. Oh, oh great. <laughs> Uh, Don't I have an army or a warden for this? Yep. For God's sake. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, yeah. Getting it's D&D. You beat someone to make them stop doing the thing. Do you beat the Chalaxians? You do eventually you... do get to beat the piss out of <laughs> both of the sides that are being peens in your in your, in your kingdom. Right. That, that part of the quest that is, is the very solution. satisfactory. Because you could beat up both sides. You could go, no, no. Just because I'm beating him up. Doesn't it doesn't mean, mean I'm on your side. <laughs> I'm beating you up You're too. You're both idiots. <laughs> smack, smack. Yep. Uh, <laughs> all right. So why don't we do a recap of when Mark DM'd? Um, because this was a significant uh, um, uh, side quest. So I, I think this goes back to Beware the Jub Jub. Mark ran five games. Beware the Jub Jub. The party lingers in Delve long enough for a quick funeral for the fallen of Anvil Brow. Sunny prods for clues about Thunder Tree from a local druidess. Along the road, Cog begins to remember his long lost home. The party comes across tracks of an extremely dangerous magical beast and decide to lure it out with the mimic sounds of a dying dragon. <laughs> <That was> cool. <laughs> the, the party finds dire warnings along the over, overgrown road that leads to the presumably undead filled ruins of Thunder Tree. Using divinations, the party tracks down the lair of the Jub Jub bird. Outside the cave, they are beset upon by hordes of plague riddled ashen undead from Thunder Tree. En route to the village ruins, the party comes across an elven graveyard where Cog's family was laid to rest, including all of the elf stones of those who Cog's family and community intended to raise, as they were heroes of elven kind. Next game Spare Parts. While in, while in the Hero's Rest Cemetery, Sunny recalls the druids reported a dragon in the vicinity of Thunder Tree. Egan turns to the worship of Tiamat. Sunny then carefully scouts the ruins of the Elven village, coming back with a prickly prisoner. The party interrogates the prisoner to learn that a horrid dragon construct dwells in the ruins. With spells blazing, they enter the dragon's lair beneath Cog's ancient homestead. Next game, a Spiteful Timber. Immediately after the defeat of the Green Dragon Mechanical Horror, 
This fight sucks so bad. The party teleports to the corrupted Druid Grove to confront an undead rune-covered treant and a nest of Ashen undead. While exploring the ruins of Thundertree, Cog speaks with a long-lost family member, i.e. his mom. In the Horde of the Dragon, Cog finds his father's journal, who is very, very angry at the Imperium. Agony speaks to the green dragon soul, who's, uh, uh, who, uh, which is trapped inside of a gemstone. And then the last game was called Snake in the Bush. The party confronts an undead monster, the undead monster of Cog's mother, along with a gang of fearsome guardians under her command. Uh, we defeated her and her guardians. She, she's going to re reform, isn't she? Um, and at that point, we grabbed the treasure and began to leave uh, while she was sort of in incorporeal state. Were we on a 24 or 48 hour clock? I think it was 24. Uh, yeah, it was 24. 24, 24 yeah. hours. That's a rough. We That's marched. Rough. We marched a few days outside of Thunder uh, uh, Thunderstone. Uh, let me show you on the map where this is. So we are where? There's Overlook, Brindle, Delve, which is where uh, Slake's um, homestead was, and Thunder Tree is this way. I think we marched up a little ways away from Thunder Tree uh, to the farm uh, to the farmhouse we encountered on our way to Thunder Tree. It left Slake behind because he's not he doesn't want to teleport back to Overlook, and then over a few hops managed to teleport back to Overlook and I think to Witch Cross. Uh, so we dropped Sunny off at Witch Cross. It yeah. was at, at this point that the party was going to do some quick training. Uh, yeah. We've all done leveling offline. We've uh, we've divvied some of the important magic items, <clears throat> and I think there is a general feeling by the Steel Rose Expeditionary League that they want to hurry back onto the trail of yeah. uh, one of two things. Um, one of them being the castle in the swamp, which. Barnabas is confident he has narrowed down to a particular ruin, uh, kind of close to Thunder Tree within the Sulphurous Swamp. Um, that is one of the, uh, which might very well be the terminus spot of this treasure train um, run by the kobolds and the chromatic, uh, members of the chromatic ascendancy, a bunch of cultists that worship the many headed dragon goddess named Tiamat. The other place is that you have the Rock Se uh, Seeker Brothers maps, which mark the location of the two lost mines, or the Valley of Lost Mines, um, that you had originally been um, hired by Lord Barak to find. Training at your level takes 10 days. I believe Sonny is training with the Druids of Eth, and um, due to his bravery and the stories that he has about what they have uh, vanquished and accomplished in, Thunders, uh, in uh, Thunderstone, <laughs> sorry, Thundertree, um, they do teach him uh, the secrets of Eth, and he did gain a single nature oracle uh, revelation, even though he is not an oracle and he gets to use his druid level instead. Which one did you pick, Adam? Transcendental Bond. What does that do? I become attuned to the common spirit shared by all living things. Um, such you can use it with, to communicate with allies. You may communicate with your allies a number of rounds per day equal to your oracle level as if using telepathic bond. You may designate a number of creatures uh, uh, as your ally equal to your charisma, in this case, wisdom, modifier. Designated creatures as standard action requires a touch. At 10th level, you may use this bond to cast a touch spell on a designated ally once per day. That's pretty cool. So you could do like, cool. a touch I can talk to you even if you're not there. And I can cast spells on you without actually getting anywhere near that horrible place that you're in. Right. Awesome. Uh, good choice. Uh, other options included a second animal companion. Uh, you know, 
because Mister has been out so much lately. <laughs> it was scary. There was disease everywhere. Uh, uh, true. So yeah, there are, there are some other Stop. powers, and what Sunny knows is that the druids of the druids of Eth and the druids at Witchcross, okay, they yeah, don't yeah, have yeah. the knowledge to help you progress along this path of Eth. But after achieving um, uh, this druidhood of of, of Eth, or, or taking this first step along the path, I guess it'd be the second. You know that it's possible, mm. either through training or research or uh, uh, uncovering mysteries, that you might be able to continue along this path in the future, which may right. also and grant either more revelations or something completely different. So there are just other options that were high up there. Um, Nature's Whispers allows you to use your Wisdom modifier instead of your Dex modifier for AC and stuff. Yep. Which would be good for the guy who's old and really wise. <laughs> um, that nature's di or natural divination allows you to basically read the entrails of beasts to grant big bonuses on specific checks, which is really cool, as well as use divination. Um, and then undo artifice is I just touch magic and it's broken. It, it's real good. Uh, it's I, I real know, like I know yeah. I know which one Slake wants to pick. <laughs> <laughs> not uh, that he's helping you <laughs> achieve your druidic mysteries <laughs> right but there's just like oh yeah you just touch it and it breaks oh what's the value of the magic item oh it's less than this threshold okay it's broken <laughs> um, yeah all right so. uh, and then going through the characters uh, Slake stays behind you'll find out what he's done uh, but basically he is leveled up trained by himself which takes double the time but he doesn't need to sleep and then he spent the remaining time um, uh, armoring himself. So effectively, he's uh, uh, done punch, uh, face punch training golem style until like he's maintaining max hit points effectively. <laughs> um, so that's what Slake's doing. When you don't have to craft and you've got no money to spend on magical things, uh, you can do you can do this type of stuff. Uh, Agony. When you guys return to uh, Overlook, he needs to find a really warm spot in Overlook to um, uh, to transform. He ends up going to the foundry that um, that Thogrim uh, that Thogrim yeah. and his master uh, use, and uh, Thogrim is able to convince the the uh, the people at that um, factory to not use one of the furnaces for a while as Agony goes into a two-week sleep. When he emerges, he emerges stronger, slightly larger, and with full-on wings. He has now got both of his uh, um, levels in Half Dragon, and is now considered a dragon, as opposed in, to a In the south... Didi awakens to see a, a beautiful red-winged moth sprouting its wings <laughs> from a cocoon in the horrible hell that is the swamp. <laughs> nice. Um, I'm going to add an inch, if, if one note allows me to edit, I'm going to add an inch or two to Agony's uh, sheet and maybe about uh, 20 pounds. Oh, I didn't realize he was so big. He's, he's seven, not light. He's 7'4", 390 pounds. To be now, if you're min maxing your character to the fullest, you would always make them either really, really tall or really, really short, and always really, really light because there is no in game advantage for being heavy, heavy. yeah, unless somebody's trying to abscond your body. I think with uh, you might have seven four or 390 with a 32 strength, 28 without magic. The seven four seven four three ninety is like no, that's a you are you're lean, <laughs> yep, you're. You're not necessarily lean, but you're not like you're you're thicker than a basketball player, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think with all these scales and that sort of thing, that that seems appropriate. All right, Amadeus, what feats and powers did you take at twelfth level? Uh, he doesn't get much at twelfth level. Uh, he got um, uh, weapon training uh, for his. I took the advanced weapon training for his unarmed strike. Mm -hmm. He got uh, warrior spirit, so uh, a few times per day he can add plus 
like a plus one enhancement to type to his, his unarmed strikes, like ghost touch when you need it, which is always handy. Cool. Um, other than that, not much. You got, uh, what did you get from Monk? Uh, I don't remember now. What level, Monk, are you? Uh, 11. Oh, I'm to poison. That's what it was. Nice. Yeah. All right, jumping to Barnabas. Uh, Barnabas went up uh, in Sorcerer and Bird again. And uh, didn't get much for Bird or Sorcerer other than new spells. So that's how that works with some spellcasters. Yep. Uh, Bard 12, what was the power on there? Uh, nothing. <laughs> I don't think there's... Soothing performance. Something you'll never use. <laughs> Mind you, uh, fifth level spells on Sorcerer are pretty good. Yeah. Well, yeah. They're... Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Except he doesn't get fifth level spells. At 13. Oh, for Sorcerer, he gets fifth. Yeah, Sorcerer's got fifth. He, he just. Uh... Everyone was expecting teleport. He didn't take. I can understand why. We've lost we got enough. <laughs> We've got enough. Uh, and you're a sorcerer. It's like, oh, yeah. you have a dimension door. When you unlearn dimension door, you learn teleport, and you put something else in the dimension yeah. door slot. He, he's yeah. got, uh, he took, instead, he took Feeble Mind, a, a big FU spell. <laughs> that is, uh, all, some might call the biggest FU spell. Yes, because uh, <laughs> it doesn't even kill you. It just leaves you in this sad, sad state. <laughs> so when, when Sunny gets to you, you're at least fuzzy and cute yeah. when you're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you spend most of your time at the library um, uh, and the inn, I imagine. Yes. Okay. Brenos? Uh, uh, Brenos? Uh, uh, not a huge level for Inquisitor. Yep. Uh, but... Uh, so you learn divine power as a spell because it's it's time. It is now time uh, to be very powerful with divine um, because more damage is best. Uh, no, the, the most impressive thing from this level was uh, the rage power deathless frenzy. So basically, once you kill him, he gets one round to really kill you, and then his friends heal him. Is kind of the idea, or he just really kills you for one round <laughs> and then dies. <laughs> He gets one round of FU, you kill me. One round of FU. Just... <laughs> this will also allow the DMs to have some room to like really, really attack a guy. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, yeah, I we, we, I, we saw Brenna swinging last game, and I couldn't help but notice that Brenna was destroys things. Just everything. His, yep. His if he gets to around his... on something, it's going to be blood at least. Yep. And then how, how is Sunny looking with the uh, 12th level? I know we just uh, talked about his. Sunny got fifth circle cleric and fifth circle wizard spells. Sunny is high, happy man. He's there. <laughs> he's eating mushrooms. He's all messed up. He's like, yeah. He's connected to the people and the energy with all the things. He's got teleports and he's got telekinesis. <laughs> he's got clown kills. <laughs> Good times. He's going to do the things. He's got breath of life. What's a mean spell? All right, raise that. You know what I mean? And then widget with a druid is like entangle. Oh, you're stuck. Here's your cloud kill. Here's your cloud kill. Have a choke on that. Uh, widget. Uh, for widget this level, uh, he has um, he took uh, teleport tactician as his fighter feat, um, which as awesome. yep. Uh, and then it's uh, more six circle spells. So. Disintegrate nice. and get a shadow enchantment. It's, uh, you know, make things turn to ash. It was really hard. I was like, find a thematically correct spell. And it's like, being really useful is thematically correct for widget. <laughs> yeah. Thogrim? Uh, before I answer your question, Bate, here's a question. 
If I take craft a rune stone, you know the one from the Scaling Gambit, the craft, the the feat that allows you to to move magic. Uh, yes. Uh, properties. Do I need to take five days to read the book and then level, like then train for ten days? Are you retraining a feat or are you taking a feat? No, it's my twelfth level. My twelfth level feat. What do you mean your 12th level feet? Or do you get a feat as a wizard or something? Well, at 12th, you get a feat. No, you don't. Every That's odd 3. level. 3.5. We're Pathfinder, bro. You're thinking 13. <laughs> do, you want us, do you want us to edit this out of the video? Uh, <laughs> no. Because no, we won't. <laughs> I'm not spending time on that. <laughs> Allow me to uh, rephrase this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, that's a little embarrassing there. Yeah. Yeah. So you could read the. <laughs> it takes five days to read the book, which you did, and now you can either spend the time to retrain a feat, or take <laughs> it when you get a feat. No, it's good. Don't worry. Okay. We're good. All so right. he got. Um, so you spent time doing that, he, right? He, he retrained. Or are you going to wait? He retrained uh, two feats. He retrained two feats. One feat is the um, uh, exotic weapon proficiency. He had that from first level, but he got it again at this level. So he retrained that and instead got deadly aim. Um, right. And then um, I'm retraining my explosive missile and getting siege bomb. Siege bomb allows me to put bombs into my cannons. Is explosive missile a discovery? It's a discovery. So a siege bomb. Your sheet still says explosive missile on it. Yeah. Well, that's going into the eighth slot. So we'll make sure that's good. Okay. So that's that's five days a piece. Um, and there's no. I'm not putting any time into uh, into your, the crafting into of my your golem. Iron golem. Okay, and no. you're, do, you're doing this because you have the uh, heroic the, fortune. No, no, the, the item that allows you not to sleep very much. Yeah. Um, yes, correct. Okay, that's that's fine. There is an additional cost to this, though. Uh, yeah. yeah. We have money coming in, I assume, right? Uh, we're not doing it. Or we so. don't have money yet. You you have it's just going to come out of the. Uh, the slush fund for now. Okay. Uh, which is what? 10 times 5 times 12. So both of those retrainings cost 600 gold pieces. I'll subtract 1,200 from the party here. Okay, so... Man, Bargum's in the hole, baby! Barnabas also has one of those items. Okay, what's he doing with his extra time? Uh, he's researching what about the Elsir Veil on a planner level? Seems to make it so special to so many powerful beings. It's an interesting question. And additionally, there's that whole thing with the shadow plate is not a dark mirror. It is a like it is a gateway to different worlds. All of a sudden, in this area, uh, is that are those mutually exclusive? No, no, they're not. Because it's like it is a dark mirror. Potentially, and it is a gateway to other it might, places. Yes, it might, it might be. That might be a hint yeah. as to what is, from a player's standpoint, so special about the Elsir Veil. Why, why, why this? I like it. Okay. Uh, let me just try to subtract that 1,200 gold pieces if uh, OneNote will let me edit. I was having issues with OneNote as well, where it was, like, signing me out for some reason. Minus 1,200. Let me do math. Okay, done. Uh, <laughs> all right, so it is a very broad research topic. You're saying, what makes Elsier Vale special? How many days are you spending? It is two weeks, basically, in his free time. <laughs> for the one question or for both? They are both different lines of inquiry. A week on each. Okay. Well, actually, it'll be a week on how is the shadow plane this nexus of different worlds? 
Yep. Depending on the answer to that, we right. might switch it to is the LC veil got similar properties or from a planner standpoint. There's, okay. a, there's a lot going on in the LC or veil. Yes. Uh, I'm making a check for this. The first one on the shadow plane is a knowledge planes. I will take one of my many. Okay. And then the, the library provides you a bonus. I don't remember what I told you the library provides. Plus four sounds correct. It was plus four if you did research into it. Why is the uh, laptop still not updated? It's at night. <laughs> this, uh, he is going to get help from. Eamon? From Eamon. He's, he's going to roll. He helps. So that's another plus five. What about Polly? Uh, Polly auto aids. Okay, you've already got that in your. Widget is going to aid as well because he's he has that item to not like he doesn't need to sleep and. All right, so Widget is going to spend time with Barnabas, uh, looking yep. looking into this. Okay, I'm just going to. Yep. He's also got knowledge shadow as a specific skill when that one comes up. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's... he cares about the shadow plane. So we're at plus fifteen. Uh, oh, and then six. One. Uh, You end up sort of posting the question, how is it? Uh, Widget knows that... We've got chalkboards now. <laughs> Widget knows that um, the brokerage constructed effectively a building that exists kind of at a confluence between, like a confluence in the uh, in the shadow plane. Mm -hmm. So it actually, parts of the building exist on the shadow plane counterparts of different worlds. He's been to two so of them. You know them. how they got ley lines in the material? It's like the shadowy version of the ley lines in the shadow where you've got all the different places at the same place. Building goes there. So the shadow plane does overlap with worlds, but it also overlaps with the prime material. And Barnabas, with your smarts and knowledge of astronomy, you know that the, that the prime material is actually, worlds are very, very far apart. So the shadow plane may be stretched and may be deep gulfs of emptiness between different worlds. And while it might be suicide to go wandering off into those deep pitch black voids between the worlds in the shadow plane, there might be things there you don't want to find. <laughs> um, you're now thinking that there's something perhaps about the building and with Widget's idea of planner ley lines as opposed to just local ley lines, you're starting to think that that location was specifically picked by the brokerage and whoever crafted those gates um, because there's a maybe a bend or it's along one of these lines. You are now convinced, although you would need to prove it, that you could take a physical journey from one world to another through the shadow plane, although the numbers you and Widget are now arguing about how how many millions of miles it would be <laughs> and how fast you could actually achieve, um, you're not you're not sure the distances, but portal magics kind of end up making that moot. Um, there are still things to investigate here, but. The fact that it's not quite a portal and it's kind of like 
a building where things have bent in on each other means that whoever the shadow brokerage or whoever built that building mm -hmm. knows more about this topic. And I think that's a good enough uh, answer so for the trade is if you, you know, had something off. <laughs> okay. Um, so I think the next week is going to be the week. So, Hello. okay, there's planner, ley lines, and shadow plane. Um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> my, there's a phone going off. <laughs> and my, now we, we have know, to speak to mute the freaking number. So no one, somebody's not knocking right. himself. Well, <laughs> well, it's the number of the person calling. Well, it's the person who's so calling. Well, so <laughs> that person do. <laughs> Uh, my, my parents are older. They still like the landline. <laughs> and the only place to put it is downstairs because it's the only place where the landline comes into the house. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a thing. I, I'll, have to, I'll have to mute it or something. You need to get a, wire, a wireless bloody thingy. To no, but stick that, that is the, the main base oh, to the, the wireless station. things that are all, yeah. yeah. Don't worry, they're old. Their friends won't call you at odd hours. No, they call each other, which is funny. <laughs> uh, okay, so how do how do these planner ley lines in the shadow plane near the LCR affect mm -hmm. um, the portal magic in the LCR veil, if at all? Okay, give me. Ad a... Additionally, what building is there a building in the LCR veil that corresponds with the shadow brokerage in the shadow? Be a different question. Okay, well, that's the one I want. I don't fucking know. Because <laughs> we're buying it! <laughs> okay, so that's the one you want to know. So, um, so you're trying to map a specific point in the shadow plane into Elsir Vale, and that's what you're trying to do. Yes. So the first thing I need is a knowledge planes, and then the second thing I need is a knowledge geography. Okay, knowledge planes, I will take 20 again. Okay. Uh, is widget helping again? Widget's helping on both. All right. No knowledge planes? All right, Eamon helps. Uh, poly auto aids, so we're at plus 15 again. Um, two. You know, knowledge planes, right? Yeah. Uh, you get an aid from Bagram. You're doing your busy training. I guess it's during that same time. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So 58, 78 on the plan, on knowledge plane. Okay. That part of it leads you to an interesting thing that you're you could either investigate instead or you could continue to try to pinpoint barnabas comes to the conclusion that the planes are how should we say the boundaries between the planes and i'm talking the outer planes and the elsier veil vale, are thin okay you're getting the idea of gnomish cheese in holes in the Elsir Vale. Okay, yeah. Oh, what do you mean by this gnomish cheese? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Maybe it's just whole. It's delicious. I don't... It's not an insult. With your 78, there are other planes that are like the shadow plane that are also close so not so and it's not just the the uh outer planes um you think that seventy. The shadow plane, one of the outer planes that you're certain is close to it is actually the chaotic plane of limbo. 
Okay. You think that that's leaking into the into the uh, uh, into the Elsevier Vale? And you think you know why? There are connections to the first world, to the Fey, to the Feywild, that are also strong in Elsier Vale. Mm -hmm. um, or at least at one time were. This part is confusing. Um, you're getting data from your research that, or like hints that something has changed about the connection to the Feywild in recent planner history. It has something to do with this region of the planet. You know what? He's going to write all this down. Yeah, you have research notes. Yeah. Like, like you have a note where, you, where you're like, this. I read this book, I found this passage. And... Yeah, he's going to collect all that, copy it, and he is going to have it sent to uh, Imperial Administrator Yzel Briss. Okay. The note at this, at, with the note on top, it says you can pay me for this later. <laughs> all right. So you're, you're sending off your research notes. I'm assuming you're making a copy. Yeah, yeah. Like he's making a copy. She gets the copy. But... Okay. So uh, you sure that's a good idea? Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. We'll get the job. Because I got no one else who's smart enough to know what that fucking means. <laughs> There's much more to look here, and then you still have the open question that you left dangling of, yeah. How does that really neat confluence of that building, that special building, yeah. correspond? Does it have an also special place? Um, and the last thing I'm going to leave you with is that your discovery of shadow planner fail, uh, plan, planner ley lines mm -hmm. are just a replica of planner ley lines. Okay, so they're like a larger version of. It's a thing. Yeah. They're a larger version. They're probably more rare than yeah, like the small grids can. on a the there small might be one on one world. Yes. It, and you got a yep. Um, and you're certain a planner ley line goes through Elsevier. I wonder why. I'm gonna make a mighty fine brain in a jar someday. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. It's not funny. Barnabas oh. now starts to think about. Maybe the Imperium. You've always wondered why the Imperium let elves and dwarves and everyone sort of just settle in Elsir Vale. Mm -hmm. Maybe the Imperium, when they they were afraid of it, or wanted, didn't want to take direct control of it. Maybe they didn't understand. There's got to be a reason why the really smart people in the Imperium treated Elsir Vale this way. Or, by the number of monsters that you found in the backwaters of Elsir Vale and how basically there's whole swaths of failed kingdoms, maybe they're just letting it run fallow. Okay, correction on that note. As an apology, I only had two weeks to work on this. Um, for the right price, I'd be happy to continue the research. Nice. Okay. Beautiful brain in a jar. We'd be happy. <laughs> You'll acknowledge it was a group <laughs> Um There's a, there's a I, footnote that we did help. <laughs> we, we did help. <laughs> And, um, oh, there's still the question of, he does still want to know what that building that corresponds to. Well, yeah, that. okay, so that was... That was the 78. That was the 10, days. yeah, that was the 10 days that you've got this far, as you've made some, I think with your mm -hmm. 78s and really targeted questions, some discoveries, but certainly some important elf, wizard, high magic wielding, mythal creating wizards must have known this yes probably. and maybe the cultures that happened before um 
may have known this, and you'd think the the pl- the multi world spanning Imperium might be aware of this phenomenon. Are you sure you're asking the right question? Just just give me you know have have a smoke, have a thing. Most of this planet, the Imperium left that way, as far as I can tell from these books here, right? The Imperium's only a very small spot. Maybe the real question is, why did they focus so heavily on those, like, three places? Something to think about for next time. Really, what's so special about Foundry and the, you know, the city with the gate? Yeah, it's got the fucking gate. Yeah, the guy can go out for example. Or... Right. Or can it? I'm certain we can logic something together. <laughs> Postulate a thing. It will be fun this winter. We'll get chalkboard, lots of books, and drinks and smokes, and we will fill our chalkboards and our notes. It'll be fun. <laughs> Unfortunately, <Yeah>. we still don't <laughs> Barnabas yeah. isn't smoked, is he? Barnabas smokes. Barnabas smokes? Bar- Bar- Barnabas engaged. Almost all the bites. Got it. Okay. Just not excessive. Then, then Polly likes chewing on the tobacco. Then not chewing tobacco, just chewing, chewing on on the, on the on the tobacco. <laughs> like chewing on tobacco. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. Barnabas smokes a pipe. All right. Uh, oh, the uh, knowledge geography or local for the the building itself. No, you went in a different direction. Right. No. We said oh, all this from the seventy. Oh, was it all from the seventy-eight? Knowledge play. Okay, then your knowledge geography. Whatever. It won't be as high. <laughs> I I do get to take twenty again though. Do you have get that multiple eight. times per day? I did. Yeah, I I get to take twenty on knowledge planes equal to my intelligence modifier, and then I additionally get the two uh, lore masters. Okay. So. Uh, you're, you're, you're eating? Yep. Uh, I don't Widget is a much more well-rounded wizard. <laughs> oh, I have to check if Eamon can do it. I don't think he can on geography. Kind of picked his knowledge as, you know, what's important? Nope, he doesn't have geography. Uh, Polly can't aid. Uh, just, just Widget. Uh, So a mere forty-nine. Okay. Um, you guys are guessing it's north of uh, Outlook or Overlook. Um, it's in the mountains somewhere. Um, you can narrow it down to a mountain range, and then. Give me an int check to see if you remember the significance of this of this area. If I remember the significance? Yes. I think your party was told. I got a 31. What do you remember about the mention of gnolls? There were gnolls to the north. There was a whole knoll tribe that came down. Big war. They came, the they, they came to this world from mm-hmm. the north. From the north, and they were emigrating here, and there were gnolls in the shadow emissary, uh, or the shadow embassy in uh, in the Umber Forge. You're pretty sure the same mountain range is where the gnolls are camping or have settled. What veil spell? <laughs> spells? spells. It's spells. a bit of a trek outside of a, a bit of a trek outside of. Uh, yes, that, it's local. definitely a later time. Yep, but you have you have a, 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 a an approximate area where you think this building would be. What's curious about this place is that you don't. There's no record of there being a special building there. 
If I was the Imperium, I'd keep it off the records, too. Oh, it's oh, anybody. I'd keep it off the records, off the records too. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you uh, for uh, indulging me in that. <laughs> That's what Barbus does. <laughs> he doesn't even roll, he just says, Tell me what you know. <laughs> <laughs> Secrets. <laughs> when you're getting 70s on your knowledge check, yeah, you're going you're gonna to put two and two together and find you know, that it's equal to five. Two um, plus two equals no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, we're going to get fleas. <laughs> Um, Cog. Cog. Uh, actually, quick question. Uh, Thogrim was doing hardening on um, character items. Yep. And before we had said, I think it was 10 days a character. Now, though, Thogrim can do uh, 15 items in five days. Is that enough to do one character? Yes. Okay, so he's able to do two characters during this downtime, and it's Eamon and Cog. There's Sunny, Mistra, and Barnabas left. Cool. I just highlighted Cog. There's Sunny, Mistra, Barnabas. Got it. Cool. Uh, Cog did some pretty cool stuff. Um, he got Abundant Step. Now, he's got um, a, a ring that is called a uh, ring. No, not that ring. Uh, where are you? Ring of Key Mastery. So it lets him use... Uh, one key point instead of two when he's using a uh, power that requires two key points, which he's using now. Cool. Was this in a market somewhere? or No, he owns it. it it's, it's not in his primary slot right now, but it's one of his spare rings. Oh, it's the, okay. uh, where is it? The ring of key mass? Ring of, where are you? Ring of key master. Yeah, I'm asking where did it come from? The... Where did we get this? Uh, it, it was in this was in, in our uh, treasure. This wasn't something new. This is something we've had I've had for a while. Oh, okay. It's just now relevant. Is that what you're saying? He's had it before. This was this was really relevant for him when he like could heal myself. So it's like, oh, sweet! I can only I don't need to spend one point to heal. But this is much more relevant now. Um, he put. Uh, two abilities in his legs, which took 10 days. Boneless legs, uh, which freedom of movement once per day. And then he put responsive legs, which gave him plus two initiative. Um, and his discovery was a greater mutagen. Nice. So, now, he replaced one of his feats. He did training. Okay, so I'll subtract Wait. 600 gold. Um, hold on. No, that's too many five days. The respons I'm taking the responsiveness off. Sorry. Um, I, re I retrained one of my uh, one of my feats. The, uh, the retrained feat was the crane wing. Okay. Dimensional agility. That's pretty cool. That's a good one. Yeah. You get to keep your actions after you dimension hop or... Move. And after beat you the living. Hop, beat the living. One, <laughs> At okay. one point, move. Yeah. Are you going to go up the whole the whole chain of the dimensional? Uh, I, I was looking at it. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot. So you, you can flank with yourself after you like can, three or four. Does feet. that mean you can? I think you can whop in like like a rapid shot of dude, like punch a dude twice and then whop out. I think. That's gross. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's once around. I don't know if it's once around. I'm checking right now because that's that feels like uh, I, I, yeah. I'm thinking that, that feels like something. It feels like we have a something here. <laughs> uh, because, because the the thing that stopped you from doing that was it was as per dimension door, which says you just you stop, but you don't stop anymore. It it doesn't say. It yeah, I w I would say even I'd extend this to another person dimension doors. You still get your actions. Dimensional agility should be, yeah, it's yeah. like whenever you... Yeah. But I mean, I think But right can now, I do it again? He could, I think it's once around. He, no, it doesn't say anything about once around in the thing. It's just as a move action. So it's as a move action. action. So you can... You move, can, move, move. You could move, move, move. dimensional door three times in one round if you wanted. You just wouldn't do too much in the middle. Or you could, do, you could dimension door in, haste punch somebody with a stunning fist, and then flurry them, and then dimension door out again. Like, oh, no, they didn't die. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, shit, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, this is a lot. This, this is going to allow you to get your sneak attack off quite a few times. That's yeah. pretty cool. I'm excited. For yeah. That. yeah. Yeah. All right. So you spent some of your downtime not sleeping uh, and doing retraining of a feat. Yep. Cool. I, I no no I, I paid for the retraining. Okay. I have I have money. My, I have my he has money. Cock has actually some cash. <laughs> Got it. Putting the six hundred back. And is there anything else you did with your uh no. wake time? No. Bad. This is good. This is it's full. All right. Did I get all the characters? Yeah. All right. So then to get back on the road quickly, the party begins to teleport to Slake's location. Um Barnabas, you begin to realize that after Thogrim failed to hit a teleport again, using a DM point, um, <laughs> <Fuck. laughs> that this chaotic energy seeping into Elsir Vale might be affecting teleports. Did you like, damage your ears and your eyes from the cannons? Why do you keep missing? <laughs> it doesn't happen as often. I apologize. I used to be able to do it more reliably. Can you I don't know why. <laughs> Constantly, don't you? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Agony, Sunny, and... Or sorry, Agony, Cog, and... Barnabas are going to go to Witch Cross to pick up Sunny. <coughs> so after the after a smaller group arrived, uh, basically got teleported uh, to where Slake was. <coughs> There's a smaller group that was going to go back and forth from Witch Cross to pick up Sunny, just to let him know that. Mistra. You're going to have to shrink. So <laughs> uh, you can actually teleport. Uh... Yeah, I don't think the party knows that yet. Or or is he a teleport? Was he a teleporter before leveling? He was a dimension door before leveling. Okay. Now he's a teleporter. Yeah, they but, they, uh, they don't they don't actually yeah. know you learned <laughs> you learned that. What was the name of the head druidess at? Um... Uh, give me a second. Uh, Sunny. Learned from uh, uh, Quailene Alderleaf. Or no. sorry, Ad Adrana. Adrana, okay. Yeah. Adrana sent me to Quailene Alderleaf. I got the like the list of <laughs> list of dudes who sent me to see a thing, sent me to see a thing to go kill a blue leaf. I didn't kill the blue leaf, we sort of killed the blue leaf. All right, I have a question for Mark. I'm just going to mute for a second. Do you have any plans oh, for uh, for I can Mark's, read lips, uh, brother? <laughs> no, I don't. You can do whatever. What was his name? You have to move what? Uh, uh, let me double check. Hang on. I don't want Chicken Chunga. I do. I don't know why. I I hate those guys so much. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, you're a surgeon, right? Do you have heal? Somebody, I'm one of your characters. Daring. I'm a druid priest. Uh, one of your characters has a heal. I, I, remember, somebody has a heal. And he was younger than spell or scroll. He was younger than spell. The, 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 the so skill. His age would be how many ranks? Uh, no, no, just 20, decent, decently good at it. You have somebody decently good at it. I ask because Cog in his gloves now he has. Uh, Cog's chronological age is. 457. Superior. So he'd be 437 years old. Sunny has one rank in heal. You suck. That's an old hill. I'm just going to check some of the. Uh, I think it's like 500. 437. I'm not going to ask Widget. And then the... Widget doesn't have ranks in heal. He could literally kill him. It's somebody else. else. <laughs> yeah, it's under. You guys are still muted if you're supposed to be? Yeah, I don't know. Mark was very enthusiastic. And yeah, yeah, we're, we're still we're still chattering about something. Oh, uh, oh, it's it's oh, oh. Okay, we'll keep. I, I just I was just thinking Mark was trying to like make fun of my character, my healy characters for not. No, don't worry. It has so, it has something to do with uh, one of Ahmed's characters, so don't worry about it. That's all right. 
Probably. I'm it's guessing it's cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Does he know he's cursed? Well, <laughs> damn it. We have this dangling thread here. Like, uh, we never really talked about Papa too much. <laughs> <laughs> so what makes you think Papa elf, just was like, ah, it's fine. Venerable 350 sweet. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean took care of him? <laughs> okay, Mark, can you give me four D one hundreds, please? You got it. Okay. How, How many zombies, zombies are after you? Fuck. <laughs> How many hedge wizards are after you? <laughs> one ninety. Much better. <laughs> you take it's average. All right, so I got 540 is when he dies of natural causes. He'd only be 437 years old. So there's a geriatric elf out there if, he, if he's still No, Cog's got a is bunch of things alive? he wants to do. Yeah. I, I, okay. Uh, and what I did he do with his actually. life? He was an artist. Goals. Find younger brother. Find soul gems of the elf. Find the monolith. Revenge on Colonel Gregor's family. Protect this Krailing Gambit book. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. He, was, he wants to get get his bearings, find his, find his brother and I got any other survivors, maybe. The only one I can, what's uh, interesting I is think the like, Zen, like, which was Kong, appears to have been, <laughs> you know, disrupted. No. Previously, he was all like, no, I'm fine. No, no, all right, no, and no, what, how does he... How is he like, useful to the plot at all? Oh no! In 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 what sense? He's still he's I think he's, he's um open, like a future. he's upset. It could be a new rem remember, with, obviously with what with what's happening, but he wants to history are you on bring the elves back as an, an army of robots. Um, or are you going to bring the elves back? He's got some of no. Carver's he wants things. to the things I wanted to, to share to with you. Find them and release to. their spirits. Okay. He's oh, got some of the I'm going to show you something. I've collected these over time. Give them the afterlife. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. From... <laughs> They're already dead. <laughs> Release their soul, yeah. Jim. <laughs> but, but not in the, uh, not where uh, the Empire is. Okay, sorry, sorry, guys. We were, we were talking about something. We've each spent a DM point, effectively. Uh, uh, okay, so I lose two levels? What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> We were just arguing about whether it, how you're going to die. Crushing a soul gem <laughs> counts as killing. You know, if you, did, if you just crush a soul gem, did you kill a guy? Is a soul gem the same as a body? I'm just releasing a spirit from a soul gem. I'm just releasing a spirit from a body. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's dark, dude. You seem to be making my point rather rather nicely here. <laughs> <laughs> he's, very, he's very kindly looking. Just saying. You can argue yeah, both ways. Yeah. I right. ideally sorry. Go ahead. Um this is in um during your time in Sunny in, in Witchcross. Um Adrana is approaches you this is after you've trained and and um, she asks did you find anything of the blooms uh, i found out that i traveled with one of the blue leaves um she raises an eyebrow at that gems. um the, the little crystals that uh, are supposed to store their essences is for you know reincarnation or do you mean Mama Blue Leaf, who's now the Devil Duck of Thunder Tree? She, there's <laughs> there's pain that rippled across her face when you say that. I didn't realize that the Devil Duck is very scary. Um, she's pretty insistent and somewhat bad. Um, Are you saying? Are you saying that you travel with my brother? Uh, she looks angry now. I is your brother Matthias? She looks a little confused. She says, "No, my brother's name is Dralomir. You should not trust him if you cross his path. He is very misguided." 
I think we have a generational gap happening. <laughs> <laughs> Matthias. Um, that's... Well... Medic from the old wall? Um, had to, was in the cemetery uh, with the other blue leaves. That's my grandfather's brother. Yes, He's been trouble with him. Where's your wait a second, where's your grandfather? Um he lives over there. You see a like a lodge like building with a ramshackle barn that is kind of attached to the building. And part of it disappears under a hill. It looks old but well maintained. Is he in good health? Um Yes, she says. As he is over four centuries old. Might have a few aches and pains, I suppose. <laughs> Would you like to meet him? Ah, uh, yes, actually. Um, okay. He's, this is... You, um... Did it get cock? <laughs> <laughs> Do get help around. <laughs> you find the house of... I don't want to call it... It's like an artist pack rat? Hey. The house is just full of stuff. Uh, little stuffed critters and carvings and bits of artwork and like I would say the the trash from past conflicts like banners and war implements and there's a big wheel and some farming implements like and it, apparently it just over it, this collection of stuff and art has overtaken the entirety of not only the farmhouse but then there is a connected walkway to a barn, and then it also, there's more buildings that are kind of hobbit-like in that they've been built into the side of a hill. It's like a rambling kind of elf estate, and you have to go way into the back, and you find uh, this really kindly-faced old elf man hunched over a, a small desk trying to do some fine work. It looks like he's trying to repair, uh, like, a music box. Hello. <laughs> um, but, um, what is a good elven name for, like, like the the nickname for grandfather? You know, it's like Papa. Like or Mima Papa or, 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 yeah, yeah, or sort of thing. Uh, Dorothy. Dorothy? Uh, D Eldo? <laughs> Eldo. Eldo and Elda? <laughs> Eld? Eld? I think Eld is probably... Yep. Uh, Eld. Oh, hello there, Adrana. I'm just fixing your, your mother's old um, music box. Oh, yes, I remember that. I have someone who wants to meet you. Oh? They want to buy some of my things. I told them it's, they're not for sale. Uh, they bring me great pride. Every single piece has a story or a connection or is a metaphor. Uh, I've forgotten some of them, but I'm sure they all mean something to me. He walks up to you. Hello? Hello. Do I, do I know you? Not likely. Um, I'm a lot younger than I look. Um, oh, oh, yes. Yes, he shakes your hand. His hand is uh, smooth and weathered. Sit down. He, of course. I'll have a see, I'll find a place to sit that's not full of crap. Okay. <laughs> Or I'll just sit on the floor of a dream. I'll just sit wherever Phantom, there's a place to sit. Phantom, uh, put on a spot of Earl Grey tea. 
make sure to cut up some lemons. And you can see he's talking to some unseen servant that is now moving stuff around in the other room. Interesting. It was Earl Grey tea, correct? Yes, Earl Grey tea. Okay. He nods. He, he... How do you know that? Rumor, pull up a couple of chairs and he's got unseen servant. He's named them. Um, Big high back chair and kind you're of- a, You're a mage, crafter? Oh, uh, oh, I know a few tricks. Magic is a bit of a... Uh, a craftsman should do his art with his own two hands, his eyes and ears, as the gods have given him. Magic is a tool like others. I like magic. Yes, yes indeed. Mm. So what do I owe this visit? I recently returned from Thunder Tree. Um, oh, Thunder and, Tree. Mm, <laughs> I do have some... How was your relationship with your brother? <laughs> um, uh, give me a second. He seems Gosh, friendly, but he was like, fuck that guy! <laughs> <laughs> my woman. Be like, that's fine, nobody. Did you see on me when I was a child? Marston? <laughs> Marston or Matthias? Uh, Matthias. Well, Matthias was uh, the oldest of the three brothers. I had a sister as well, Matilda. What, uh, what of Matthias? He died long ago. Sort of. Um, uh, what do you mean? This better not be a trick. And he looks over to Adrana and she goes and kind of puts a hand on his shoulder. He, he reaches up to touch you, her hand. As I understand it, and I might get a couple of details wrong because my memory isn't... Actually, it's the way it's always been, but you know, typically you say it's what it used to be. Um, your father was creating a stones to protect against the, to help fight the empire in the oh world. yes 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 elf stone yes and i remember brothers. it was a whole big hullabaloo back then uh, well some imperial craftsmen there was there were a great number of elves that objected to such crafts they said it would be denying the, the, the afterlife of those who are bonded with such gemstones. I remember a great number of arguments, great disharmony. My it is never opinion. good to go against the gods, or at least the servants of the gods. They know best. My personal opinion is that they are likely an affront to the gods and are very well uh, I wouldn't recommend them to be used widely <laughs> nobody's ever actually asked my opinion on this before but mm, they're an interesting bit of magic well um, what is your opinion nameless one? Oh, uh, that they are a very dangerous and potentially vile type of magical construct that mm. could disrupt the balance of the planes on sort of a grand scale. I uh, see. That's, you know, um, what they also allow is for the person who is so is bound to the stone uh, to then be used in uh, as a source in construct. Yes. Yes. Martharin? Uh, Marston? Um, uh, and Matthias had these stones? Um, there was never a stone built for me. I was too young to fight in the war. And 
Oh, something happened to my parents before they could get around to making me one. Not that I would have, now that I know what they are. It is not something that I have ever felt the need to have. An artist's life is an interesting one. It is not a very dangerous life. We have been safe here in Witch Cross in the shadow of both Overlook and those industrious dwarves and the uh, protective hand of the Empyrean. Have you ever considered uh, living another cycle? No? Yeah. I mean, um, reincarnation. Just as a <laughs> This is a philosophical topic. There are a few of those wandering around. Be careful with how you judge age here in Witch Cross, he giggles. <laughs> so you being firmly in the group of druids of how old are they? Eh, it's not really a thing. <laughs> Three? <laughs> Maybe four. <laughs> Um, nice. I should have used him as a token. <laughs> yeah, that's, oh, well. that's funny. Um, so, uh, I need a name for his wife. Maybe he just calls her Juno. That's what his mom calls her. Loading token tools, build token. Ophelia. Ophelia. <laughs> File, save as. Now, how is it that you are traveling with my... Did, did, you, you, you... did you find his stone? Uh, sort of. Actually, his stone found me. Um... His stone was used in an imperial experiment to create a form of mechanical soldier, um, and that experiment got lost. So now he is an independent mechanical soldier um, with his own free will and memories. Um, Wait, one of those mechanical beings you travel with, says Adron. Not the not the monster. The the more Normal one. <laughs> the clock one. <laughs> oh, I should very much like to see my brother again. Is he well? He's physically all right. Um, he's... His stones were lost. Adrana and her brother went out to look for them. Unfortunately, uh, as an artist, I filled... Well, their parents' heads full of all sorts of stories of old. And, well, they were adventurous. Just how Adrona lost her eye. We lost much more than that day. Yes, yes. When I... I, I have a, a particular scholar, a, a geographer, who's very insistent about his finger. Um... Once I fix the finger, I can fix the eye. <laughs> you are always welcome in my home, nameless one. Oh, Sunny. Nice to meet you. Uh, he smiles. Uh, so Swirling with I his will... key. <laughs> <Diddy>, get cog. <laughs> Not time to play <laughs> uh, When I will... If you wish to speak with Matthias, I'm certain he would be interested in speaking with you and sort of catching up on family matters. Yes. <laughs> kind of looks at Drano. <laughs> Many years has passed since I looked up to him. He, he shakes a little bit. You can see he's getting a little emotional. He is still... Young and uh, his young blood still. 
blood bone not the great word. So he You're did not serious. age in that stone of his. No. So the clerics were right. The they robbed him of a long age, or joining the Seldarine. I do not disagree with that assessment. Yes, I shall speak to Matthias. Um, it appears my grandfather is growing tired. If you could return another time, Sonny, she says. Of course. Um... I was like, it's like, I've got age resistance, but it's personal. Like, I just want to be here. Just be like, do a little jig for me. <laughs> do the dance of the young. All right. So Sonny gets lost in his training and uh, um, they, Adrana says that she, uh, did you tell Adrana what you guys are continuing to do? Like, are you continuing to explore the backwater area? Uh, that we're, well, yeah, we're, we're heading back. We, like, one of our numbers is back there. We have to go back. There's another another problem in the region that we have to deal with. All right. And then is Sunny wearing, and does Sunny now have max ranks in knowledge local, local Elsier Vale and knowledge geography because of his circle? Yeah, he knows, he knows all sorts of things. Can, you, like, give, can you give me two, test. can you give me two roles just because there's something that may have clicked now that knowledge has filled your brain? <laughs> Hmm. You mean there's more than just the ones that are directly related to magic? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> not like, no, no. <laughs> That's not arcane. <laughs> Nature? All right. Uh, <laughs> 1d20 plus 21. 29 and 27. So that's geography and then local. Okay. Uh, with the local, you come to the understanding that some of the items you procured from the Dragon's Lair were personal effects of um, of the druid you were searching for. Okay. Yeah. Uh, In particular, the staff is something that he would have never given up. This is the recognize this. Staff. Yeah, this is the staff of Earth and Stone. Uh, no. uh, belonged to Reed Rolf. He 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 captured Got it. by a dragon. Uh, yeah, and then you do find a few of the other minor things in the in the dragon horde that you now recognize as his, and come to the conclusion that he got it by a dragon. <laughs> I think I know what happened to Reed Rolf. <laughs> the knowledge. Geography is you also know the place where Redroth likely um, procured the staff because it was kept there. It was slid into stone, awaiting for a druid to come and stone shape it out. Nice. And it is simply called the cabin in the swamp. And it is close to the castle in the swamp. And it is a place of highly magical druid power. It's a cabin built in the middle of a sunken druid uh, druid circle. And I guarantee the cabin in the swamp horror movies don't happen in, like every second Tuesday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. No. No. Be fine. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if you bring this up with Adrana or not. Uh, or uh, I will let Adrana know that. Um... We didn't find Raedrolf, but we found evidence that Raedrolf was there and isn't there anymore. We didn't find the body, but... Okay. Um, yeah. We didn't uh, find... Any. There's a chance he's running around naked somewhere. <laughs> well, he could be a zombie, but that, you know... Yeah, she, she lets you know that she'll send a messenger bird to uh, uh, Quilleen Alderleaf of um, of Delve as she was close to Redrop. Mm -hmm. Delve is an interesting... Yes. Send the message to Quailene. Uh, Quailene did not inspire much... <laughs> The hedge druidess who... Knew some of the information that you are. Yeah, had. it was all like, yeah, 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 piece of shit. Like, 
Right. <laughs> Be mad about some plants in your garden. <laughs> that kind of druid. Fine. She's the druid that's always yelling at people. Get out of my garden! Get out of my lawn! <laughs> it's special grass! <laughs> All right, so we need to find a cabin in the swamp. And with your knowledge of geography, you could approximate, like, once you find the cab, the castle, the, uh, uh, the castle in the swamp, you'll know that you'll know its location. Perfect. It's something you at least want to have a like you have a look at, basically. Mm -hmm. Like your druidic curiosity is now like, ooh, a druid circle, ley lines, yeah. You know, like that sort of thing. Yeah. No, I wanted to go investigate the place where they were hiding tools, because if it was like stone shaped this one out. Uh, okay. Ah. Ah. Isn't life just interesting sometimes? If it's not interesting, you're not looking hard enough. Yes, she says, like it's a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> um, so so you're, you're, you mentioned your brother being a problem. Um, my brother and I both had injuries when we went to Thunderstone long ago in our more adventurous days. We went looking for our mother. Oh no, our grand, great grandmother. She, you probably would have found. She her. said the She's word "mother" in Elven that kind of means like matriarch, as the opposed matron, to the matron. Yeah. yeah. Uh, She's very disagreeable these days. The Devil Duck. I came away with a missing eye. My brother came away from that experience, well, he got left behind. Was your brother a caster by any means? Yes. He's more of the arcanist than a holy man. But we did spot him again. He turned from the Seldarine. And now worships a power much older than this Imperium's five-faced god. But it has the same number of heads. There was a dragon there, uh, 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 um, as we warned. Uh, was the the guy that we <laughs> the guy that we porcupine? Give me a second. <laughs> um, he wasn't an elf. He wasn't an elf. I was going to. He was a half elf. Though. He was a half elf. Yeah. This girl's an elf, right? Uh, she's an elf. Yes. Your brother wasn't half elvish. No. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he yes. renounced our family name, and he calls himself the Greyborn, as if he's trying to erase all color. Did he ever talk of a fabric? I have had very little to do with him. A long time passed before he made his presence known, and it wasn't in a positive note. He was trying to loot places that were sacred to us, that he had knowledge of. Kind of like me. <laughs> he said he was collecting things, an offering. Well, oh, that means he's probably... <laughs> Sonny's like... That means he's... An offering means he's probably going to where the others are going. What others? Um, oh, the other dragon worshippers. Oh, the dragon cult who's bringing all their treasure. Um, looting a bunch of places. He does need to know Duke, it's fine. She, she, she blinks, which is, I guess, a wink when you'll hit one eye. <laughs> <laughs> um, <I'll put> a <laughs> wink. Dugan is worried about what um, uh, Barnabas will think. It's fine. Don't okay. worry, he's not here. There's a bit of commotion. Well, he doesn't as... know about hurt him. He doesn't know that much, so... <laughs> Mistra comes running out of greet uh, Agony Cog and Barnabas <laughs> as, they, as, they, <laughs> as they teleport in the middle of town. 
comes running at you. She she nips at your hat looking for uh looking for Polly. <laughs> yeah, Polly comes flying out and the two of them go and, <laughs> the, the two of them yes. go and play because they haven't seen each other in a while. But 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 agony, can you squ- do you, do you feel like you need to scratch your wings, like you know, the membranes? Are those are those sensitive? They were itchy coming out. Interesting. I rolled around in coals. Fire does not bother me anymore. And he and he gouts flame from his breath weapon through his fingers and not a single mark on his scales. Fascinating. Hey, you can fireball yourself now. I can stand beside Slate in combat. You can fireball on top of ourselves. Happens when cold spells come. Uh, <laughs> we don't talk about those. <laughs> we don't talk taboo. About that's some taboo. What's, what's right nice? There. What's nice about uh, half dragon is they don't get vulnerability. Oh, well, they don't get vulnerability. Yeah, that was the, the basic question. Is like, nice. He spreads nice. his wings. They are magnificent. I had many dreams of flying. Flying at the head of great flights of dragons, leading them. Dominating them. <laughs> yeah. His Wherever hand, it takes his you, hand I'll does help go you to a particular amulet around his neck, and he uh, he kind of twirls it between his clawed fingers. I look forward to seeing the day. Check out how much shade you'll be able to provide for a great big week any day. The not umbrellas. Although he crouches down into a uh, into a like a stance and like they can block. Could you attack with them as well? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, well, yeah. You, you could ball. probably attack with yours with those wings, couldn't you? No, I don't. Think, I don't think they're sharp enough, and I don't want them cut off. I just got them. Hmm. Fair enough. He tucks them behind his back. He did have to tear some holes in some of his equipment and his, <laughs> and his cloak is all kind of bunched up but uh yeah uh, speak of the speak of the geographer yep um, so, hello sunny comes running <laughs> sunny comes running over Sonny has a look on his face like he, so, what did you do? There's, there's a one eye there's a exactly. one eye there's a one eye druid lady that's like She's looking at you and definitely taking very close interest to the three of you who have arrived. I know that look, Sonny. What did you do? <laughs> well, I, I apologize for whatever he's done. We'll take him and leave now. I didn't... Uh, uh, did Matthias? Hog, this is your great grand niece? Something like that? Your great niece? Super niece? Your excellent niece. Removed? Something? Not quite sure how the trees work for the elves. Uh, your, it would be your your... is in that house over there. <laughs> Martha? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, the other one. Um, Martha, yes. But no, no, no. Ma- Martha. <laughs> Ma- Martha is is here. Uh, yes, and he's. You're my grandfather's brother. He's like. He's alive. And, and and we could he... say the same about you. Somewhat. He taps his chest. Ding, ding. Still here. So your family. <laughs> what did they do to you? <sighs> Thank you, Barnabas. Always welcome. <laughs> so much metal. So the, unnatural. Um, uh, Cog's like, come, 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 come. Which house? Which? Where is he? Uh, he's Martharan. You might want to give him a minute. He's very old. Uh, yes, it's been a long time. Which which house is it? Hold up, Sunny. This thing is safe. Uh, yes, uh, yes. He, he's not subject to rage and those sorts of things. He will not. Nothing him. controls me. No one controls me. Except for that That's one time, but we won't talk about that. Now, that, <laughs> there are spells for that. Uh, there was a very powerful mage who was trying to kill us. Um, that, was, that 
If you harm my grandfather, I will bring druid fire down upon you like you have never imagined before. Yeah, we oh, she's definitely a blue leaf. <laughs> now, quickly, where, where is he? All right? Would you calm down? Um, he is an old man. All right. Son, we're on a schedule. So you know he's got a big beaming grin, and he's like rocking back and forth, like like forward and backward. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Mister oh. watches Polly return to, return to uh, uh, Barnabas's skin. Yeah, you go inside. Yup. <laughs> Hello. You've, you put too much honey in the tea again. I like honey. But but it's not good for you. Oh, a little bit is good. There's old couple yeah. futzing around a uh, futzing yeah. around a well-worn, um, uh, well-stocked kitchen that is in the middle of like many lives worth of artifacts and junk and art and streamers and colors and things and tools that may not work and there this well you don't smell so. There's warmth in here. Everything is well rounded, well used, uh, and uh, well dusted. You catch the 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 glimpse of of probably unseen servants kind of moving things around. Uh, they look like they are well orchestrated in uh, in these uh, in these daily rituals of these two very old elves. So you did become an artist. Mm. Who are you? What are you doing in my home? Is the, is this uh, elven woman. Ad Adrana, <laughs> he's trying to get like close to here, like everything's going like piss your wrong. your <laughs> granddaughter Adrana showed me here. My name is Matthias Lulif. Matthias. He turns. He looks up from the table like he was lost in thought, and uh, Ophelia looks back to her husband and actually uh, guides you into the table. Cog. Uh, sits down and starts uh, singing the lullaby that his father used to sing to them as a child. Okay. Sonny and Mr. are blocking the door from the tender moment that the Blue Leaves have sitting around their family table. Uh, uh, there are many happy oh, no, tears. Barnabas is not going to interrupt because he's going to a fucking bar to listen to Give me a perception check, Barnabas. Right. Oh. Uh, I assume I'm not looking for crap. No. You can add two if you have more than five ranks in a praise, though. I check that. Oh, How okay. much is this dude's collection worth? Yeah, I... Forty-five. You've got alcohol in your uh, in your um, uh, your flask because you just came from Overlook. Yeah. And you look around the room. Maybe you'll just take a poke through some of this collection. There's a lot of junk here, but there could be valuable things that a four hundred plus year old elf has managed to collect over the years. And there seems to be rooms and rooms of this stuff. Okay, well, tender moments are distracting. <laughs> All right, so Barnabas sort of glides, <laughs> it glides into the room and starts looking around at things. Uh, yeah, so Barnabas is letting the blue leaves talk. I dropped my hat. <laughs> <laughs> Sonny, are you watching the blue leaves or are you going to go keep an eye on Barnabas? What are you doing? I'm going to inform, I'm going to inform agony that... Need to help him with. Mm. He's 
his nephew is, and then he points at the little dragon thing and is bringing offerings um, to the, some beastie. Um, he's a mage of some sort and um, probably needs a correction. Oh. Uh, well, if he's involved in a cult, that cult, um, he might be able to, you know, inform you of some things. And then obviously he's gathering offerings, you know. Well, I see the treasure we're going after. Yes. Agony seems to be in thought, but he doesn't hmm. share. Hmm. He's definitely thinking about what you just said and topics related. So he's looking at him. Are you feeling all right? I mean, obviously, you have wings now. Um, I, I feel fine. To... I shed my skin in the fire. Did you save any of it? Yes. <laughs> he smiles and nods to that. <laughs> feeling greedy. I wonder if I am done with that trial. Then what is the new trial? <clears throat> it's somewhat pensive if it's destruction. Farmer's here, Zang goes, well, I'm guessing once we're delivering treasure, he'll be greedy again. <laughs> <laughs> Agony nods. Yeah, who was the one that gave me the paths of the red dragon to go up. I did. Uh, okay, so is Agony done that trial, or is it when we get the big dragon treasure done that trial? I they, I think there's probably there's probably a wealth calculation involved. There's, okay. there's probably a divvy that we need to, okay. to check off. But I, I have a feeling that, yeah, we're probably at the point where it's, like, that, that dragon horde at the end of the rainbow is definitely sufficient. It's whether or not we've, we've gotten there before, because we did just take a big-ass dragon horde. Yep. Like, what was the CR of that dragon? That was a CR-17 dragon. Okay, and did it have the full dragon treasure hoard? Yes, like the three it, had, times? it had the full tra treasure hoard for a CR-17. Okay, that so yeah, a CR-17 real dragon is sufficient. So yeah, you've done that trial. Like, once that okay. treasure is divvied, you're done that trial. We'll, we'll talk offline to see if there's any, like, mechanical bonus or anything like that of completing the trial, but we don't need to do that right now. A Agony has been thinking more often, kind of telling after he... Well, you know that he interrogated the 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 green dragon in the in the gemstone, and yep. you know, he might actually be being thinking about the path of domination. Domination. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> All right, blue leaves. Uh, yeah, there, there is so much I want to say. Why? Why didn't you come sooner? You left me all alone. I, uh, I've only been awake for a few years. It's like two you, years now. You've been awake maybe. for two years and you didn't come find me? Uh, I didn't have any memory. I, I had no memory. I, I, my name was Cog. It took me a while to, reckon, to remember my own name. And only when I came close to this region did I start seeing the land and, and recognizing where I was and what things were. And I, when I headed home, things started to click in. I only found out you were alive yesterday. Um, I, I pulls out, uh, he pulls out his, uh, his dad's journal, his father's journal. I found this in the dragon hall that was uh, in the Thunder Tree. He reaches out to it with a trembling hand and he sort he of gives like, it to him. He, he runs his hand over it. I'm like, reading it right now, but he recognizes the object for uh, what it is. It was father's. Yes. The dragon? He looks to Drana. Under tree. Uh, the dragon is no more. It's been dealt with. We can go back to Thunder Tree? Not yet. Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure exactly how much you remember. The undead. Oh, yes. the, the undead have all been dealt with. Um, there's, there were still 
there were still many, many other threats that we had to face. Um, sorry, I'm sorry. Um, do you remember the uh, Agaron, the rune tree? Agaron. Yes. He had. He was all. He was. Um, unfortunately, we had to um, deal with him as well. He was very plagued. He was connected to the land, and what what the curse was has done to the land is is unforgivable, um, and it affected him. He was the one that was creating the undead. Somehow. Well, we are happy that you are that you have returned. As um, strange as your new skin is, says Ophelia. Yes, it, this was the Imperium's do. Why would the Imperium put you into a tin can? They probably didn't expect us, expect me to have my mind when I woke. They expected just a war machine, as I'm sure they've done with the other, with our brethren and our family. I plan on finding them and obtaining the soul gems. What are you doing with the nameless wizard? Sunny? Well, you know, his name is Sonny. Why'd you call him nameless? Oh. oh, my mind must be going. Have you met him before? Like before, I guess, a year? He looks over his... Maybe? He, he said he grew out of a plant in the ground. He's only... I think two years old, or oh, three, something like that. Sure, yeah, Barnum is looking around the room. Why am I... Sorry. So, since motive on who wants to reuse faces? On, um, on uh, Martharen. Okay. Has he met someone who looks like Sunny in the distant past, perhaps? Or Sunny? <laughs> Or does he think forty-four? Yeah, but he's he's confused at this at this point because. But I interject. So sorry, sorry. Uh, who is this man? Barnabas Dom, at your service. If, if I may, I may be able to help you. Did you memory. hire a servant? I did not hire a servant. No, he's being he's being polite. He's he's actually my servant. <laughs> come on, come on here, Barnabas. What is it? What mirth may I do for you? May I um, help your dear brother here with his memory? Um, well, uh, Martha, if if you will, he, he is a very learned and well practiced mage. He can help you if you wish. If I might accept. What are you going to do to my husband? Uh, I'm going to improve his memory, at least with regards to uh, this one specific moment. Improve his memory? Well, have at it then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he can do two times. He cast, <laughs> cast modify memory on Martharen. Okay. And, and you're trying to make him remember. remember First time he met Sonny. <gasps> His eyes go wide. They, they tear up a bit. He blinks. He's staring off into space. Oh, I think we got something. He smiles. I did as you asked. And what was that? did as I asked. I don't know what I asked though. What, what did, did I, I ask? <laughs> I collected Cockatoo, this is sunny. <laughs> <laughs> Can't explain. He, he came to me in a dream. A nameless wizard. He knew who I was. I was but a boy at his feet, and he was glowing. A white wizard. White, white wizard. wizard. This one. 
he said, Mark Perrin, Bruley, give in to your pensions to collect things. Collect them for your life, he said. Or they would, the knowledge contained in them would set them upon the right path. Hey, mm. I, I saw no problems with this, so I collected things, important things. Hey, you drove me mad some decades not knowing exactly what to collect, so I collected all. Old things, art things, useless things. Oh, we've got enough of that. Uh, he appeared to you when you was young. <laughs> a, a, a boy? When you it were young. It before, was, before, before, I, before, before I died, before you left. I nearly gave him to despair when my family all died and I had to flee Thunder Tree. He's now crying. Yeah, yeah. Matthias puts his puts his puts him and embraces him. The cold metal hands. <laughs> <laughs> Upon the right path. The right questions. I don't know what. I have collected that might be of use. I only hope that I have done you well. Nameless wizard, he's saying directly at Sunny. Uh, he seemed to have done a good job. There's lots of stuff here. Um, we'll have to see if we find the the key to our journey, assuming we are us. I think we're us. Barnabas, are we us? Um, oh, I know, you sent him on the quest. <laughs> Martharin. Yes? Have you, have, where have you collected things from? Where were you? Have you left Volcanica? No. No. Elsie of Ale. Maybe some things from a flea market here and there that may have come from outside, but most of the things I have are from Elsie of Ale. Elsie of Ale, we have come to know. Very important. Well, it's my home. It's our home. Yes. Um. Your hands I... are cold, yeah, and she's putting mittens on your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Would, um... Do we have time, Barnabas? This is days and days worth of searching, if we have permission. Well, I don't want to finish our job. I understand we're in, um, nostalgic for family. I understand. We got others that are waiting on us. Exactly. We should return then and deal this deal with this after we finished our actions. You're uh, not even going to have a look. No, no, no. We're going to have a look. Um, we will have a look. Uh, Martha, do you, would you give me permission, me and my friends, to have a look? Yes, the nameless wizard gave me hope long ago, and I, I, I have made a life's work of, uh, of this. Some of the things I found I turned into art, uh, or junk. Some junk, some art. Oh, there's some interesting things over here happening. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free. Uh, try not to break anything. Some things are already broken. So. Um... In the Barnabas, um, yeah, car doesn't I, know anything. If, if we are here till tomorrow, I, I can you can see the inner side of the great more. <laughs> one day will allow me to try to divine what the hell I was thinking. <laughs> All right, we'll give you a day, sure. 
Mm, let's, let's take the day. There's another I, option. I'll try and fix your memory. Cog flexes a bit. Not flexes, sorry, stretches. But very, very <laughs> oh, fix your memory. <laughs> uh, I don't get tired. Where should I start? And what should I look for? Well, it sounds like a sort of destiny sort of thing. So that's very much, what does it feel like? Feel so in that vein, uh, we're going to basically prep ourselves up and augury. We're going to like augury piles of stuff. Is it wayful or woeful or wheelful? This pile of stuff. Is it good? <laughs> this is a good pile of stuff. This is a bad pile of stuff. What about this pile of stuff? <laughs> you know, on this side or that side? Probably a binary search. <laughs> We're going to Okay. Wheelful, woeful. Once we've narrowed it down a few, legend lore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys are going to spend a day searching through this stuff. Yep. yep. Is there anything in particular you're looking for, or are you just looking? So Sonny is using magic to search. How is Barnabas searching? Um, he is searching. Uh, he's using well, detect magic, but uh, he's, he kind of feels like it's a little too obvious magic. Like he's he's almost looking for historical artifacts. Okay. Agony is less of a wizard than Barnabas, so he can do the brute force detect magic uh, okay. search. Yeah. And then Cog, how Cog are you is searching? Thinking, Cog is thinking if something is very important, it does not show magic. So he's going to go and look at things through... Um, uh, is there any... There's no bottles or chemical... Uh, I have zero appraise. <laughs> okay. He's looking for... Barnabas is looking for something historical that should not be. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a quick bio break here because we can, because we're recording, and then we'll get to uh, rolling and figure out what, what it is... What fabulous things do you find in this 450-year-old mm -hmm. elf's Lifelong collection. Have you ever had a, if, if you have any pack rats in your family, in 20 years, you can pack a lot of rat. <laughs> uh, Cog is using knowledge, nature, and planes uh, to figure out what kind of belongs, doesn't belong. Okay. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop the recording for a quick bio break. We'll be back. All right.